Okay, people, welcome to another exciting episode of Forever News! In today's episode, we got some stories to talk about, people. We got some major, major accomplishments, all sorts of shit going down. For starters, we got a small update on Haikyuu. Of course, the series has ended, but people have been wondering, like, oh, so overall, where, where, where we're at on, on the spectrum of the success, I got an update on that bad boy. We also got two updates on the success and sales of some other series, such as Jujutsu Kaisen and Black Clover, and I can assure you guys, you're about to be amazed and wowed at what is going down there, in particular, on Jujutsu Jutsu Kaisen and it's getting I don't want to say exactly but it's starting to head towards that demon slayer explosion we will get into that I got I got the goods right here and speaking of demon slayer demon slayer bringing a whole new uh, definition to the word success because Sony right now is like dancing in their boots uh, based on what demon slayer has been doing with the Mugen Train film we'll talk about it unfortunately seemingly some very sad 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 news for the chainsaw man manga i really really don't feel good talking about this but unfortunately we got to do what we got to do we got to talk about it chainsaw man manga's future not looking good at all but there's a silver lining to it so we will get into that and also uh one piece hr oda the creator said that he wanted to reach chapter 1000 by the end of 2020 based on what we have right here this information that was released on some unexpected breaks going down with shonen jump that might not be possible. It might literally be impossible at this point for One Piece to reach chapter 1000. And also, it's just some bad news for Shonen Jump manga readers overall in the coming weeks. We're going to get into that as well. So yeah, people, without further ado, let's talk some Forever News! The only news source that provides anything and everything anime and manga related. And we don't bore you, fam. We get into the shits. Let's do it! I say we gonna do what we do no matter how you move, make your move. That's how it be. Okay, people, so let's start off with Haikyuu. Now, Haikyuu obviously has ended quite some time ago. Well, not quite some time ago. It's been, what, a few months now at the very least, right? So Haikyuu ended a few months back here in 2020, and we got an update on the sales for Haikyuu. Apparently, as it stands right now, Haikyuu officially has 50 million copies in circulation. Love to see it. Uh, I've heard nothing but praise about Haikyuu from what I've watched. I never read the manga, but from what I watched of the anime back in the day, I really enjoyed it. And it's always good to see sports series because there's a really bad stigma for a long time up until about Haikyuu and Kuroko no Basket that sports series are no good. They don't sell well. People always say like, oh, who who want to read about like, you know, basketball or tennis or volleyball? There's more to it than that. And Haikyuu shows 50 million strong, baby. And yeah, ending nicely. I think that that's a great for can run an amazing run at that so shout out to iq 50 million sales really really dope stuff moving on while we're on the topic of sales we just spoke about let's talk about sales for jujutsu kaisen and black clover now black clover just officially reached 11 million sales clap it up because 11 million of anything is an incredible number it's an incredible feat black clover no matter what because i gotta stress something and I, even if i stress it there's still people that are gonna attack me I've, I've noticed now i feel like black clover fans are turning on me for what's happening in the world and me talking about it and reporting on it and giving an observation but you know it is what it is black clover has held it down for quite some time even before jujutsu kaisen before chainsaw man before all these new hits black clover was giving us entertainment week in week out you know what i'm saying so shout out to black clover 11 million copies officially in circulation now but fam what is going on right here jujutsu freaking kaisen right now you're about to be amazed fam you ready for this we're four episodes as of the recording of this video right now we're four episodes deep into jujutsu kaisen's anime and guess how many sales it has it has already reached 10 million sales in circulation with 13 volumes a, a volume zero and like i think a novel or two or something along the lines of that so with 13 volumes of the manga half the volumes of black clover i want to say black clover has 26 if i'm not mistaken it has basically already caught up because and why i say caught up because even though it has 10 million black clover has 11 million jujutsu kaisen with all the back volumes and shit like that is doing 300 to 400 thousand copies 
every week of the manga. Black Clover's not doing anything like that. So basically, Jujutsu Kaisen, within another couple weeks, not even a month tops, is going to have already caught up and surpassed Black Clover. I'm not saying that's a down Black Clover. Black Clover got dealt a bad hand. It got Studio Periot in a time where weekly released anime is not a thing that people are hype about no more. Don't get me wrong. I love getting a, a you know Black Clover episode every week. Hells yeah, but that's just not the thing anymore. That's not going to blow you up into mainstream success like it did 10 years ago. It's just, it just isn't, or even 15 years ago. That, that motto is basically a done deed of the past. So Jujutsu Kaisen, four episodes out. 10 million copies of the manga and selling three to four hundred thousand copies every freaking week the last month or so bananas crazy this is humongous jujutsu kaisen is looking at the trajectory of what demon sayer did now it could all foil it could all fimble but with the next episode i'm imagining that it might not even take, like, we might do another million copies within the next couple weeks because episode 5 is going to be a huge one, trending everywhere. Maybe I might be wrong, but I don't think I'm going to be wrong. And shout outs to both of them. Jujutsu Kaisen making history, 10 million sales, and its anime is only 4 episodes deep and has only got 13 volumes. Black Clover, 11 million sales. In a time where people just really aren't into weekly anime, and I, I reference the anime because they're the biggest promotion that the manga gets. And yeah, either way, it's still major success. And Jujutsu Kaisen, yo, that's another level. That's another level right there. Let's go, baby. That Yoshihiro Togashi inspiration is shining through. And while we're on the topic, we, you know, I just mentioned Demon Slayer. We got a, a story regarding Demon Slayer is actually making Sony say hell yeah because of the success of Mugen Train. Let's read the article. Sony predicts higher profits in 2020 on the back of Demon Slayer and the PlayStation 5. While 20 2020 hasn't been kind to most companies, Sony is recording similar or higher profits so far this financial year on the back of the video game segment of the company and higher than expected sales in the music segment of their business in the second quarter. But with the PlayStation 5 looming and Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba the movie Mugen Train currently slaying in the Japanese box office, Sony have upped their estimated profits for the entire financial year of 2020. Today, Sony held its quarterly financial presentation for quarter 2, 2020, up to September 30th. The giant Japanese company reported that while its theatrical division has suffered over the past few months, sales to streaming companies have been helping make back some of the lost income. On the video game side, PlayStation Plus subscribers has increased by 900,000 in just three months and on the music side which includes anime production through Aniplex profits have increased 5% since this time last year with physical CD sales and streaming increasing for the company while people are staying home which is no surprise considering how big of a hit Lisa's Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba opening theme Gurenj has been in Japan because of this Sony has increased its profit forecast for the full 2020 financial year on the back of PS5 launching next month around the world and the already crazy numbers that Demon Slayer Mugen Train is pulling in at the box office, having the biggest opening weekend in Japanese history. These numbers have increased Sony's profits from 620 billion yen, which is about 5.9 billion dollars, to 700 billion yen, about 6.7 billion. Sony wants to sell more than 7.6 million by the end of 2020, which ends on March 2021. This would be more than the PS4 sold in the same time frame in the first year, and they're flying them around the world to do so. So basically, because in case I, I haven't really been reporting on this, but the Demon Slayer Mugen Train theme song is actually selling like hotcakes as well, breaking records. Lisa is getting all sorts of exposure, uh, 10 million views in like a, a week or 10 days, some crazy shit like that for the opening song. It is humongous and yo demon slayer success is so wild that it is increasing sony's financial like if demon slayer don't get a, a, a sequel i don't even know and it's not even that i like i'm begging for it because to be honest with you the ending wasn't all that great or anything like that but financially you'd have to be a buffoon with your head up your ass to not realize this prints money especially in japan so i i feel a sequel is inevitable and if i'm wrong cool beans because again i'm not really like biting at the bit for a new demon slayer manga after what happened at the end but yeah wow sony <laughs> profits increasing due to demon slayer 2020 folks yeah now i come to you with a heavy heart with this story i, I i'm joking around but i am dead serious that i'm very very saddened by this news um 
I did not want to believe it at first because I was hearing rumors, but let, let's just read this and you'll understand. Apologies for the late TLC. Next week, it's going to be a bit weird since Black Clover will be getting the cover, but the lead color page will go to Chainsaw Man, which that's not why I'm sad. Like, that's dope for both of them. Congrats. But it says, like I said, uh, the lead color page will be going to Chainsaw Man, which seems to be entering its quote unquote super climax i don't give a slither of a fuck about we never learn and whatever else no disrespect i just don't right now chainsaw man entering its quote-unquote super climax boy am i sad about that i am genuinely sad i get it it's better not every story needs to be you know extended over periods of time some sometimes short and sweet is uh, amazing and everlasting too to this day i still watch uh the berserk 97 anime a bajillion times you know what i'm saying so a, a classic can be a classic and all of that shit and fujimoto with fire punch from what i understand it was a short in manga it wasn't that long or anything like that but you know you think when they come to jump like they'll last forever and never and shit and entering it super climax like i could have thrown the argument after the villain that we're fighting right now th there there could be another villain or some shit but it seems as though we're entering the super climax and it also makes sense with the big thing it was months ago where it kept on halloween 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 this chapter drops right around the little in japan in particular it's like a day or so after halloween that must have been what the author fujimoto meant by halloween of hey the the manga is entering the climax to end by Halloween, yay, and ah, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm so heartbroken by this, I love this manga, um, when I do the video, cause I'm gonna have a big special video with a couple of guests, uh, for best manga of 2020, hey, this, this has been in the works for a bit now, um, you guys will see how high up on the list I have Chainsaw Man, and I'm so sad, so, so sad to hear that it's entering its climax already, and we're 91 chapters, I mean, the anime, if they do it justice, is going to be humongous, I don't even know why, why is it ending it or why is it going this way i mean again great great in terms of that it's not going to mess up the story it's not going to drag it along and make it boring or all that shit but man am i fucking sad like 2020 you're taking something else from me that i enjoy and love and fuck you 2020 with everything in my soul i truly mean it you piece of shit year and moving forward to the final story that we have for today very very big stuff kind of a bummer for all readers of shonen jump manga let's read according to shueisha's jump schedule we'll have a total of 50 issues in 2020, which normally we have 52. Then we'll have two weeks without the magazine and start 2021 issues on December 7th, which is a difference from the norm that uh, the issue always starts the next year in November. We'll also have the usual Christmas and New Year's break in December. So let's take a look at it. And you guys will understand also what this means for One Piece because it says, okay, I believe we get an issue on the 2nd. We get an issue on the 9th. We get an issue on the 16th. And then it takes the two-week break from the 16th to we won't have jump until the 7th. So November 16th, around there, will be the last issue up until December. And then there will be December 7th, 14th, and 21st. So basically, there, according to this, and One Piece is going on break for the November 9th issue, if I'm not mistaken. Because we got a chapter for the 2nd. So 994 will be November 2nd. 995 will be November 16th. 996 on the 7th, 997 on the 14th, 998 on the 21st, and then we don't come back until after January. So it's physically, unless they start stuffing two One Piece chapters in per issue for a couple of weeks straight, we're not going to be able to reach a thousand by the end. Again, maybe Oda has plans, maybe they're going to do something else, but seemingly there won't be no One Piece 1000 in 2020 unless some new arrangements are made and also two weeks off of no jump from the 16th all the way till December 7th. Wow, 2020, you just keep it coming. I mean, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to watch a lot of anime. Uh, I'm going to bring a lot of content to you guys. Maybe I'll do like what I used to do like five or six years ago if you've been following me for that long where I used to do like big X expectations videos for manga like i would have a uh, boruto in 2021 one piece in 2021 so maybe i'll give you guys that content let me know if you want to see that but yeah i don't even know between this and the chainsaw man news i want to end this video now so i think i'll i'll jump to the outro
Yeah. Curious what you guys thought about all these stories, your, your thoughts on Jujutsu Kaisen already reaching 10 million in sales, Black Clover 11 million in sales, uh, Haikyuu 50 million in sales, your thoughts on all of that, Chainsaw Man ending, are, are you bummed about it, sad about it? Again, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Like, yeah, it's ending, I've accepted it, but boy am I sad about it. Also, two weeks off, no jump from the 16th to the 7th, how do you feel about that? Are you disappointed? Uh, we seemingly ain't getting One Piece Chapter 1000 by the end of 2020. And your thoughts on Demon Slayer helping Sony to increase its profits like holy fucking shit. And your thoughts on any of the stories we covered in today's episode. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links are in the description below. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life. Boy. Have an awesome day. Peace in. And you just watched another episode of Forever News. Have an awesome day, people. It's nights like this. And times like this. What's that? That I can give another hit. But I've got this inside a switch. A natural bliss. But that I miss.